at quarterback Trevor Lawrence. Trevor, this is Matt. Just how nice was it to, to get back after not playing for more than a month? And, and how did you feel like things were going for you? Yeah, it was, I mean, it was great to be back. It's been a long, obviously the team hasn't played in three weeks, but it's been like five weeks for me. So <laughs> really glad to be back. Uh, feels good. I'm sure I'll be sore tomorrow just, uh, yeah, for not playing for over a month. But, man, it, it felt good to be back out there, obviously. Um, still think I need to work on whole offense team, you know, got to get better, but uh, it felt really good and it was a successful night. I mean, that was uh, the way that the group of seniors would want to go out, so it was awesome. Trevor, I know you said after the game um, on a video with, with Clemson, you wouldn't want to go out any other way and your years here have been amazing. Just have you for sure played your, or, or can you say you played your last game here? And if so, what are your emotions like after, after finishing your last game here? Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of been the plan going into this season. And, um, I mean, you, you just never know. But um, if it is, it was a it was a fun one for sure. And I've enjoyed it. Uh, this place has been so good to me and my family. And, uh, I love it here. So uh, whatever whatever I decide to do, it's going to be a tough decision because uh, I just I love I love I'm saying love the people. Um, but yeah, this was this was a good one. If it's the last one, it's a good one to go out on. Trevor, I know we talk a lot about uh, the offense, but the defense really sparked you guys today, a little bit of a catalyst. What's that like for you on the sidelines to, you know, have that that, that constant backup there that you had today? Man, it was great. Uh, well, obviously, we had some big guys on defense back today, um, and that was awesome just to see Jamie and Tyler Davis and uh, a bunch of other Mike Jones, who uh, was going to be back last week, but obviously the game got moved, so. Uh, just all those guys back, it helps a lot. We're really deep because we got those young guys experienced the past few weeks. And, um, but as offense, I mean, that's great when <clears throat> your defense plays so good and gets turnovers. And that's the, you know, that makes a really good team when you play complimentary football. And when they get a turnover, we're scoring on it. So that was, that was one of the biggest takeaways from the, today was we played really good complimentary football. We took advantage of all the opportunities. That's why we jumped out ahead so fast in the first quarter because of those turnovers and turned them into points. Trevor, this is Grace with the athletic. What did you? What was your vantage point of of Cornell? That one-handed grab on the seventy-yarder. I didn't even know, honestly, until we got in the locker room because uh, I threw it and I can't tell what's going on. Obviously, I think they call it pass interference too, so I couldn't really tell. I saw that he caught it, obviously, uh, but I didn't. I didn't even know he caught it with one hand until <laughs> after we got in the locker room. But I mean, that's just uh, some of the plays he's been making recently, and you know, he's always had that ability. But just you know, getting the confidence and. Um, he's playing really well, and, and, we, and we need him, so I'm uh, thankful for that. But um, couldn't happen to a better guy. He's, he's waved his time, and I'm, I'm proud of him. Trevor uh, Lawton Swan again. We were talking with Cornell just a few minutes ago about, you know, sort of his uh, explosion recently. And I know you haven't been completely a full part of that because you've been out, but have you seen anything different in him and his mindset through the three years you've been alongside him to, to say, you know, that – what we're seeing from him now should not surprise anybody. Yeah, I mean, Cornell has always been a guy that um, has worked hard and has been kind of a part of the rotation. But I think just this last year, he's really gotten even more serious about it. And I think he realizes the opportunity he has. And <clears throat> ever since, uh, I mean, spring, he had a good spring. It was cut short. But really, fall camp, I mean, he – he was playing really well in fall camp. We knew he was going to have a really good year. Just the way he was working, the way he was uh, – just every practice kind of leaving everything out there and, and working on things that he needed to get better at. Um, so you could tell that his mindset had changed a little bit. He's a little bit more serious, um, committed to it. But, he's, I mean, he's turned into a great player. And, uh, like I said, it's just – it's awesome to see him. In his fifth year, this happened. I think he knows, like, obviously with, you know, COVID and everything, who knows, he might have another year. I don't know. But – this is fifth year, so going into it with that mindset of this is my last season, you know, uh, I'm going to just leave everything I have out there. And he's done that, and you can see it paying off for him. Any other questions for Trevor? Yeah, Trevor, it's Pete at AP. What was it like running down the hill by yourself? It was awesome. Um, I was a little bit more nervous that I'm going to 
going to fall. Usually you've got a lot of people around you, so you don't really think about it. But just trying to not trip. You know, I've made it this many times down it, so not to fall down. But, um, no, it was really cool. I think that's one of the coolest things we do is um, how we honor the seniors. And it's really special. And obviously, I wish the stadium could have been packed. You know, that would have been even cooler. But still, I mean, just to have however many fans we had was special. And then my family got to come on the field after and uh, my fiance and just got to take some pictures and talk to them for a minute and just kind of soak it in. And it was really special. Um, they take care of us, so it was awesome. Any other questions? Good, Trevor. It's Andrea Adelson with uh, ESPN. When you were down there taking the photos and talking to your parents and family and, and fiance, did you have any special or different emotions or, or feelings considering this might be your last game there? Yeah, I think I was just more, uh, I paid more attention to all the little things, you know, kind of smelled the roses along the way. And, even just from the hotel, the ride over here, pregame, coming down the hill, post, all that stuff. I mean, I just really took it in, and you know, just, just remind. I'm just reminded constantly how special it is here. There's just not many, many places like it. I, I, I wouldn't think. Obviously, I haven't been a lot of other places, but um, it's just special. The people. Uh, that's the best thing about it. So, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of emotions for sure because this place has been good to me. I, you know, it's, it's been awesome. Hey Trevor, it's David Hood. Maybe a lighthearted question, but did you did you kind of grin to yourself when you got the flea flicker call uh, out there on the second play of that series? Yeah, we, I mean we've actually been working on it all week, and it was just kind of ironic that they had just tried to run it this right before we did when we intercepted it, and we ran it and hit a big play, scored on it. So uh, we also we ran that. You guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but we ran it. Two years ago, we played in the ACC championship. Um, so that play has been good for us. So that was a lot of fun. But yeah, when I saw it, I was just hoping that, that safety would bite up. And Cornell did a really good job, sold the block, and uh, took off just wide open. So um, yeah, it was fun. Against a team that is as aggressive as Pitt, they are really aggressive. You know, they, they attack the line of scrimmage. Sometimes they were sending seven and eight, leaving the safeties, you know, kind of on an island back there at times. Do you do you do you look at that and say, hey, man, I've got to get the ball out at a certain amount of time on this? Do you try and just get it out quicker? You know, as a quarterback, how do you attack that? It's a mixture. I mean, every every game plan is different, and obviously, against defense like that, it's a big part of it. Is you know, taking what they give you, trying to get it out as quick as you can, limit the pressures, and I think we did we did enough of that. And then there's some times where we got to just sit in there and, and, and throw a ball downfield, give our guys a chance. And I think we did a good job of that too tonight. But, I mean, obviously the score uh, is lopsided, but Pitt has a really good team, a really good defense. And that's it's always a challenge, second time that I've had to prepare for them. I mean, it's always challenging what they do on third down. Um, and then just base down too. I mean, the, the coverages they run, how they get extra hats in the box post-snap. It's just hard to manage, and uh, they do a really good job. They know what they're doing. They don't bust a lot at all. So that's a tough defense, and obviously we made some big plays and scored, but you saw some, some times where we sputtered. So, we, I mean, it's just more stuff to work on. It was a good challenge for us, and that was a really good team. Anybody else? Good. Good. Thanks, Trevor. Thank you all.